Hi everyone, Lene with Bloom Feather Studio here and I have been painting for a couple of hours and haven't liked anything I've done. I've just been painting badly. So I thought I would go back to an old favorite and that's a hummingbird. Um, so I thought I would paint a quick hummingbird with you. So I have three colors. I've got permanent rose, poker's green, and lemon yellow. Okay, so those are the three colors I'm going to use. I have two brushes here. I have um, the Prince and Select Oval Wash, my favorite brush, okay? And then just um, any sort of smaller uh, round brush. This one's a silver black velvet um, number six, okay? So what I've done first is I have sketched out my hummingbird. And um, just a little trick, if you are intimidated about sketching out or drawing birds, go ahead and do some tracing if you want um, cut it out and then you feel free to use it so this is something i didn't trace this i i drew this myself but i did cut it out and i have used it a lot so it's all dirty and um splashed and <clears throat> i didn't follow this exactly as you can see um you know the tail's a little bit longer the wings are a little longer the beaks a little longer just make sure you get the eye directly across from the beak and then just a little bit up and it's like an almond shape with the eye okay um so here we go so i'm just gonna wet my my silver brush and i'm gonna take my paint so here i've got my palette i've got my permanent rose here my lemon yellow here and then some hookers green right here i've got some other colors on here that i might dip into sometimes I like when it's not as clean of a color like I let it like it dirtied up a little bit with something else so I'm going to go ahead and take my permanent rose and actually I think I'm going to wet it a little bit first so I'm going to start at the head got a little bit of permanent rose on it already so I'm just gonna wet the head going around the eye being really careful around the eye. Just wet that head. Oh, and I should have erased my drawings a little bit so they don't show. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to take some of my permanent rose and just drop it in here. At the head go a little bit into the beak if you want and pull it around the eye being really careful around the eye okay I'm just gonna drop it in there and then I'm gonna come over here and just pull some of the color down a little bit I'm going to leave that. Actually, I'm going to pull up some pink up here a little bit. Add a little yellow. So here, let me pull my palette over a little here. Just going to add some yellow here. Drop it in. Now I'm going to take my oval wash. I'm going to rinse it off so it's nice and clean. Dab it off on my paper towel. And I'm going to start on the wings. So I'm going to go to the tip. Here, let me turn it a little bit. Go to the tip and pull straight down. Just pull it straight down. Okay, now I'm gonna go out in a fan pattern all the way down. So I'm gonna just angle, angle, angle all the way down. Okay so that it has like tiers of wings, okay? Now I'm gonna go to the back wing and ideally I should have done the back wing first, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Starting at the tip, same thing. Angle all the way down. Okay. So just kind of filling in a little bit with the water, okay? 
Now I'm going to come down to the tail and do the same thing. Just bring some water into it, pull it all the way up, and angle up from the tail. So I'm doing each of those feather groups separately. I'm mostly just going to leave the middle part of the hummingbird dry. So now I'm going to take some of my green. I'm going to dirty it up a little bit. You can add a little bit of pink if you want, just to take the edge off of it. Okay, now I'm going to come to my, my, this wing right here, which is facing us. I'm going to come ahead, come and start at the tip again. Pull some green all the way up. Okay. And then again, I'm going to rinse off a little bit of the green, dab it on my paper towel. And I'm going to do the same for the back one, but I'm just going to stop like that. Okay, so I've got my front wing, I've got my back wing. <clears throat> I'm going to take some yellow. I'm going to put some yellow right here, right where the wing meets the body of the hummingbird, just to give it a little color. Pull it down. Put some maybe in the belly too. Okay, now I'm going to just go like this. So I just made some definition to the belly. Rinse off my brush, grab some pink, put some pink in the front of the belly. Like that. Maybe pull it back here like that. Okay, just adding color. I'm going to pull some pink down the bird. Yeah, let's see what happens there. Maybe pull some off because that's a little strong. Like that. Okay. So I'm just kind of messing around with it. Adding some pink to fade out in the back. Okay, now I have to do the base, the tail. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna get some green coming down here, starting at the tip of the tail, each of these feather groups here. I don't like how dark gray that is. So I'm going to go ahead and get a little more green on my brush. Go ahead and add some more green to it. Okay. All right. Just pulling down some of the color up here or maybe taking some out for the transition okay now I'm gonna let that dry um, and while I do that I'm gonna go ahead and do the beak so I'm gonna take some of my green Here, I'm gonna show you some green and this is actually a deep sap so it's a little darker it was already on my um, I, I think that hookers green or any green will work so whatever green you're using Go ahead and mix the green and the pink together and this will neutralize and become a nice oops a nice dark color a little more pink here okay let's see what that looks like get a scrap of paper I'm running low on scraps okay 
So we need it to be a little darker. So I'm going to go ahead and add some black to it. See what happens. Just adding a little black. Okay, that's good. So I'm going to go ahead and take that color. I'm going to start at the tip of the beak all the way back here and just carefully draw up to the head. It's a little thicker as you get up here. And if you feel more comfortable, use a really small brush. This one's kind of big for this job and it holds a lot of water. So a smaller brush would probably be easier. So I'm going to grab some of that color, push it back into the beak, and then just leave it. Okay. So we got a little splash here. Okay, now I'm just looking at this right here. I'm going to straighten this out a bit. Okay, now I'm going to let this dry completely. So I'm going to turn my camera off and I'm going to let it dry and then um, we're going to come back and do the second layer. So I'm just fixing a little edge of the eye, smoothing things out before it dries. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry, and then I'll come back. Okay, now that the bird is dry, um, it's a little boring, right? So we want to add a little bit of definition. So I'm going to focus on um, especially the wing, the first wing here, and I'm going to define it. So I'm going to use similar colors. I'm going to go ahead with my green, maybe put a little yellow in it. Brighten it up. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pull down and fan out. So, okay. So, there that is. And then I'm going to add with my small brush, I'm going to go ahead and grab some yellow. Add it to the base of this that I just did. Tip it up a little. Let it run. Okay. Okay. See what happens there. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the the tail. So I'm going to turn it upside down because it's easier that way. Take some of the same color. Go ahead and pull up. Okay. Turn that back around. Add some yellow. Okay, and then maybe I will rinse off my brush and add a little bit to the belly. So I'm rinsing my brush really well, getting all that green off, grabbing some pink, and let's see, I'm going to come in here like this. Go out like this. There. Hmm. And I'm going to fade it out a little bit. So grab my brush, fade it out just by adding a little water, taking that, taking the tips off of those. Okay. Maybe down here I'll do the same thing let it join up with that one okay what else what else maybe add a little bit of pink back here okay 
pull it in a little bit. Ooh, I don't like that. So I'm going to get rid of that. Why did I do that? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. See what happens. There. Okay, now for the back wing, clean off my brush, get rid of all the pink. Just get a really diluted amount of green for the back wing. And come up here like this. Here, let me let me test it. So yeah. Maybe a little bit more than that. Yeah. Okay, same thing with the back wing. Just gently put in some definition. Kind of join it up to the front wing. And then I need to get rid of some of this white space in between. There we go. All right, I'm gonna leave that. Um, or actually, I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow. Just a bit more yellow right here. Fading this out a little bit more and defining it. There we go. Okay. So at the risk of, I'm going to leave it alone. There we go. Just add a little bit of yellow there. Yeah, I'm having trouble with this corner right here. So I'm just gonna put a little more water in there. All right, I'm gonna leave it, okay? I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna come back to the eye. Okay, now this is dry for the most part. So I'm gonna go ahead and focus on the eye and I'm gonna do a, um, like a half, like a circle, but heavier on the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to leave some light in the eye. So grab some of my black. I actually need to make a little bit more. So let me go ahead and do that. So you want the same color as your beak. Let me see what this looks like. So I'm just going to go ahead and do like a round, much smaller than this, but a round circle like this. Okay, and then fill it in a little bit at the bottom. And I'm going to actually... I'm not going to use this brush. I'm going to try and get a really small brush. Okay, so I've got my size 2 black velvet. I'm just going to go ahead and pull in a lot of color onto my brush. And I'm going to start at the top and go around and just gently fill it in at the bottom. Okay, all right, that's it for the bird. Um, if you want to paint some of your favorite flowers here, you can do some that kind of trail down like this, or maybe one that comes up like this for the bird. Um, yeah, you can do a lot of different things, all right? Um, if you paint one of these, tag me so I can see it on Instagram at Bloom Feather Studio. I hope you have fun and have a great day.